darkest ocean The story of our lives You've just returned after, what, 7,000 miles uh, across Turkey to Mount Ararat. You didn't find the Ark, did you, while you were there? No, I don't think... No, we didn't. No, they didn't find the Ark. <laughs> no. but, but, but you did raise an awful lot of money. We hope yes. so, yeah. yeah, yeah hopefully, that's, yeah. that's still being counted. Yep. Yes. And we're still, still coming in. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So great, great bit of support from. I mean, your sponsors are well, P and O for a start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who else has sponsored you? Uh, Garmin, Garmin, Metzler, yeah. uh, Frank Thomas Clothing. Yeah. Uh, Wired, Wired Bars, yeah. Wired Bars. Yeah. So we've so, had quite a few. Yeah, it's been so really good. You've had no problem persuading people to, as it were, put their hands in the pocket to to and help UNICEF and the guide dogs for the blind. Yep. Yeah. People have been really, really good. Really helpful. Yeah. Very helpful. You've had, it's been far from being a holiday, but it's been incredibly enjoyable. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go. Otherwise, you don't want to go. <laughs> Otherwise, you want to keep going. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the what, high points, low points? Let's start here. High points? Rain? Yeah, lots of rain. Is that a high yeah. point? Well, no, it's a low point, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I've got lots of rain here while you've been oh, away. It's just been well. fantastic, all of it. It's just been good. So good. Did you, was it, were there any times where you, I mean, your bikes presumably didn't, didn't break down? Were they all right? No, my oil light kept coming on. Uh, used a bit of oil while we've been out there. Uh, that's about it, really. Bikes have done well. 7,000 miles in 15, 15 days. 15 days, yeah. That, 15 days. that is, to, you know, you've got to be going some. Yeah, we haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> oh, I should have asked you, is it good to be home? Is it good to oh, be back? Oh, fantastic, yeah. yeah. It's, it is nice to be home. That's one good thing, yeah. And the sun's shining as well. Yeah, that's a bonus, isn't it? Yeah, but we've had some really bad weather over here in the last couple of weeks, uh, but nothing compared to what you've had to put up with. No, we've had some bad days, lots of rain, cold, but uh, it's been good. And you do it again? Oh, yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> back today, won't we? Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah. Andy, yeah. so, I mean, I know that... Um, We've been able to follow you on satellite and all that sort yep. of thing, yeah. uh, but that, of course, just tells us how far you've got. It doesn't tell us the sort of adventures and no, problems that you've been, been encountering. Now we've had some great times. I mean, we've, we've done all sorts that you'd never do normally. We, we camped in a, a, a dormant volcano one evening, and it was all going swimmingly. It was fantastic. It was so idyllic with beautiful warm water lake, and we had a little campfire going. And we then got to bed and the heavens opened. We had a torrential thunderstorm at about 5,000 feet inside the crater. It felt like it was only inside the crater. Tents were billowing in and out. And uh, of course that made it worse for getting out the next day because everything was waterlogged and obviously it was off-road. And so these two guys have done phenomenal to do some of the off-road stuff. It was absolutely superb. But yeah, it's been good. Uh, I couldn't have noticed yours is a proper, a proper, <laughs> yours, is a, yours is a proper touring bike. Yours was built for this sort of uh, adventure. Yes. But of course, your colleagues here, um, what are you doing going, going on, you know, 7,000 miles on bikes that are built for um, uh, speed and racetracks, really? Hmm? Yeah, we ask ourselves. What? <laughs> it's, what pretty, excuse? Yeah, it's good fun though. <laughs> did, you, did you do it just to make it more difficult for yourself? Yeah, I think I mean, I'm going to see an osteopath I think now though. And my hands are all numb from the vibration. And do you, do you walk yeah. a bit like Do you walk a bit like John, John Wayne now? <laughs> yeah. the time of the yeah. I'm looking forward to getting in the van when I get home. <laughs> just for a few days, and I'll probably want to go back on the bike again. But, uh, you, you, you'd learn for punishment, as I say. It's it's been a you know, terrific cause. Um, You've spoken about the weather, and I suppose uh, that's been a, a great factor because you had snow, didn't you, for a start? Yeah, yeah been... we went up on one mountain pass and we mm. went through a blizzard, iced up visors, thick snow. Couldn't see things slipping about. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah still yeah. fantastic. I'm just just still got to start just laughing, it. thinking this is crazy yeah. what we're doing here, but it's yeah. so funny as well. <laughs> and, and landslides, and yeah. holes in the road, yeah. and no roads. No, no roads. roads. No. Um, things like. Um, steamrollers coming towards us on a road that's being built that we're actually having to drive down while it's being built. <laughs> it's just been mad. We, we've had to stop for them blasting on some roads. Uh, we stopped to help one wagon driver out who just before we got there he'd come around a corner gone backwards down a ravine. 
Yes. And so uh, he was happy, he was OK. We didn't speak a word of his language, didn't speak a word of ours, but we knew he was all right, because there was no red on him anywhere, which is, you know, a bit of first aid. No red, he must be all right. <laughs> but you, yourselves, you, you didn't suffer any injuries, no... No. No particular, no jelly no. belly, as they call it, anything yeah, like that, no? Not really, not too bad. Uh, it's right. been good, no, it's, yeah. we've, we've been very, very lucky, we think. I mean, we, the bikes have been fantastic, a little bit of chain adjustment here and there every so often, lube the chains. Bit of oil in yours, bit of oil in mine. No punches, which is no a bonus. Punches. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you, you, we talk glibly about that. Um, if you're, you know, if you're anywhere that's got a garage within 50 miles, mm. then you're okay. Yeah. But you've been literally Turkey. In, in the, I mean, in the middle of nowhere is an understatement. They wouldn't have stocked these tyres in Turkey. They've never seen tyres like it in Turkey. Yeah. So I was thinking, I hope I don't get a puncher here or split in the tyre when I hit the rock. Bent the front wheel and all. I was thinking, oh no, don't get flat now. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Too far away from Wait home. a minute, back off a bit. You hit her off and bend your front wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A kind of. He went round her, I didn't see it until the last second. <laughs> That's it's what a, friends are for. I landed on full left lock. It's like that, and so I'm going go left now then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what, I mean, I think, I think you're bad. I mean, good on you. Good on you. Thank heaven there are bad people like you when it's yeah. money for charity yeah. like this. But what, what about the people that you came across uh, over there? What, what did, how did you explain what you were doing? Or, what do they think to you? They thought we were mad as well, I think. Mm. And everywhere we went, um, as soon as we got into Turkey especially, uh, you were just mobbed at the petrol stations because they don't see British bikes out that far and they wanted to know where we were going. And 99.9% .9 of them were fantastic people. Yeah. We met a couple of rum ones, but you do that in England, you know, you can pull up a petrol station in England and meet a rum one. So yeah, it was good. Um, but yeah, like you say, it was difficult to explain what you were doing. And, and I suppose it was always maps out, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah. we've come from the... Who? Hmm? From there. <laughs> Today? Hmm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and they just didn't believe it, you know. And, and everybody said, oh, you don't want to go down that road. That road is really, really bad. Really. And so what do we do straight away? <laughs> Indicate. Go straight down that road that's really, really bad. Bumpy the better. That's good. <laughs> <That's very> good. <laughs> no, I, I joked earlier about you, you know, doing it again. But I think already planning something yeah I'm planning edge of Morocco next year yeah to the edge of the Sahara so that's don't know when yet probably November next year now because of the weather and we might we've, we've got a bit of a challenge possibly Australia no we've also <laughs> yeah we fancy Australia because oh, it'll be yeah, warm, warm <laughs> <they're raised. laughs> we'll walk no, no, we've, got, we've got the chance to walk up Mount Ararat in July yeah, of course yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so actually go to the top walk up the top so yeah. that might be good you no mean, engines though. You mean you didn't actually drive your bikes to the top of Mount Tarot? No, Tarot, we, we didn't have the right Andy. permits, otherwise we would have done, yeah. <laughs> Ride it down. <laughs> no so, problem. In fact, at one point we nearly did because the kids were all over the bikes, we had to get out there quick. We'd have probably been quicker going up and over it in a way. Because we were only 32 kilometres from Iran. Yeah. Yeah. At one point, uh, quite close to the border. What, what, all right, you know, final question. Was there anything scary about it? <sighs> Yeah, when we got mobbed by them kids. Yeah. <laughs> Sat in a tunnel on your yeah. own with your bike on its side, with no telephone reception, wondering how you're going to get out of there. That was quite good. Yeah. It was scary, but it was a challenge, maybe. <laughs> Hitting gravel and corners. I'm wondering whether the lady in the farm who's showing you all her medicines is telling you that she wants medicines or that she's actually put them all in the milk drink you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to tell these two to keep their eye on me for the rest of the day because if I was going high, it's obviously because she has been putting them in the milk. It's just mad. <laughs> it's just uh, been mad, mad, mad all the time. Yeah. Back to normality. Yeah. Uh, with a bull. normal madness. Yeah. <laughs> I say, I, yeah. You three, I don't think you're going to stick stick with normality for very long. Not while you've nah, well, not while you've each hours. got a motorbike and uh, and this uh, sort of uh, travel bug that you've got, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, nah, yeah. and the fact that you know there's still lots of charities and thousands of pounds more that you could raise. And I know Absolutely. that's very much in, in the front of your mind. Yep, mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, great to see you back. Thank you ever so much. Cheers, Alan. Bless you. No Come at all. Cheers.